You've probably heard that Magento U is being merged with Adobe Learning. Now, in the past, or up until this point, Magento U has handled all of these certifications that Magento offers. Again, some brilliant, some incredible certifications. So with this transition comes a whole bunch of questions. And I recently was chatting with somebody and they, they were like, what's happening here? Like, is there, do we have any answers? And I think while we do have some answers, there's obviously will be questions that will remain unanswered until August 17th when all of this is supposed to happen. In fact, I've had a couple conversations with some people at uh, Adobe and this is from my conversations with them, what I'm going to share with you now, as well as what I can determine from the frequently asked questions on the Magento U website. So let's work through this point by point and see what will have the most impact on us. The number one big important banner point that I want to call out is Magento certifications are not going anywhere. Adobe has very much recognized the value that Magento certifications are in that they are a proof of knowledge. If you have studied, if you have worked hard, this is a proof of your knowledge. As such, it is important to continue studying. If you're gonna take a test, continue practicing, continue preparing for that test. So just remember, certifications are not going away. They are getting merged with Adobe Learning. But here are a couple of things that I do know or believe will be changing. Number one, the certification names. So a couple of months ago, if, and I'm not exactly sure who got this survey, but Adobe sent out a survey to uh, a number of people, maybe a lot of people, it could be. And one of the aspects of that was focused on the names of the credentials. And I don't remember off the top of my head, but there was a number that were changed. In fact, I think there were the names might have been changed for the better. Uh, they sounded more impressive, bigger, bigger words. Uh, so if like a merchant is looking at this, they're going to say, wow, this is really impressive. So the names of the certifications, I don't know when, but I do understand they will be changing. So the good news is that doesn't affect the certification itself. It just might sound better. We'll, we'll see. Well, the jury is out on this one, so we'll, we will wait and see. One thing that I am expecting to change, I have seen no documentation anywhere about this, but I'm expecting the change is the possibility of some certifications being axed or being discontinued. If I was to make a mention of any one of those, just by looking through the Magento U certification directory, it would be order management. There is, my understanding, I looked at this, there is only 11 people that have passed that test to date. And a few of those were the people who actually helped write the test. So 11 people having passed this test, um, when compared to over a thousand, almost a thousand people who have passed the solution specialist, a um, thousand people who have passed this professional developer test, 1500 associate developers and over a thousand front end developers. If it was me, from my perspective, Magento certification is getting kind of a new look as they are getting merged in. It would make sense if order management doesn't continue. That said, I've seen all, all the other ones that I've seen have a significant higher numbers than order management. But if you, in other words, if you are focusing on a test, I would focus on one of those that have high numbers in this Magento certification directory, uh, as opposed to trying to go with order management, for example. So. Um, I have no basis for this, but this is something that could, this is more conjecture, but it's something that could happen. So in other words, I would suggest against studying for order management. Another change is that the exams will be given through PSI or Examity. PSI seems to be the offline drive to a test center, see what you can uh, see, what type of score you get there or Examity is online which this is good news because this is, means that the offline and the online methods are still available for us. And now the PS taking through, through PSI versus Cryptarian could mean that you're going to have to go to a different test center. And I'm not sure exactly the availability or the different numbers of test centers that are available through PSI, but 
it could that could represent a change as well. So keep in mind that the exams are administered through the corporation that Adobe has selected as opposed to continuing with the one that Magento U had been working with. So if you've purchased a voucher, this is you're, you're going to have to remember to schedule this test on the new platform. As of August 17, 2020, this certification voucher will still work. You will just need to schedule the test on the new platform. Your test, and I'm guessing it's going to be canceled on if you if you try to schedule a test on Cryptarian after, I don't know, August 17. I'm guessing it'll be canceled or unavailable. But uh, after that, you need to probably revisit the u.magento website or maybe that'll be merged with Adobe Learning. I'm, again, there's not many details as far as how to schedule it, and we'll have to see as time goes on exactly how that's going to work. What about the exam content? Uh, from what I hear, this is not going to change much, if at all. Um, I understand that Adobe has a slightly different way of building these tests out. What that will look like in the future, I don't know. But um, from what I hear, Magento, these tests, the content is not changing at least for a while. It could be even the end of 2021 before these tests are revisited, updated, that sort of thing. However, again, with the standard philosophy of Magento, and I understand that does continue with Adobe, one never knows when these tests are going to be updated. So I hope this isn't the case, but if you're trying to pass a test based off an exam dump and kind of, I don't know, uh, make all the other people who've taken this test and actually worked hard look bad, I would su still suggest, very strongly recommend against that just because it's a waste of your time, it's a waste of everybody else's time because these exams can change without further notice. So uh, we want to make sure that we all view the exam as a proof of our learning as opposed to uh, just something to try to get and then uh, just it just doesn't really work that well after that. Uh, scoring also remains the same. So that's not a change. It's a good thing. And uh, it's these these tests I, I've seen over and over again. They are good validators of your capabilities and having the scoring stays is staying the same is a good thing. Probably the biggest thing that's unfortunate through this process is the fact that the Magento certification directory is going away. It is. It is going away. Time will tell what, if anything, Adobe replaces it with. They talk about uh, badges or something like that, and I'm not 100% sure as far as what that's going to look like. Uh, maybe it's badges that you can put on your LinkedIn profile or something along those lines. So. Not really quite sure exactly what that's going to look like, but what I do know is that the Magento U certification directory is going away. So uh, it's, it, I don't know. It, I understand it takes a lot of time and effort to maintain that certification directory, but at the, on the other hand, it's been really valuable for the community. You know, it gives stats, it gives statistics about how many people have passed what. It also helps you understand to what, well, again, what certifications are important as well as people to find you, recruiters. I mean, that's that's a benefit to becoming certified. So uh, the Magento certification directory is going away and we'll have to wait and see exactly what it's gonna look like version two, if version two even comes. So overall, I think I don't see any, any really negative changes that are coming up here. I see it's, it's pretty much positive. Um, the positive or neutral, I guess is a better way to say it. So um, from our perspective, may, maybe if the names have been changed and maybe they're better, maybe that could be a positive, but otherwise I guess it's pretty well neutral. Maybe with the biggest disadvantage being the certification directory going away. So hopefully this helps provide some context for some of these discussions that are happening around certifications and should I continue, should I not? If it was me, I would continue. It's something I've, I often talk about is that my goal is to foresee the future as best as I can, but to prepare for today. And if I'm constantly looking to the future saying, hey, this might happen, this might not happen, and I make this, all my decisions based off of something that may or may not happen, well, it may or may not happen, and if it doesn't happen, then I've just missed an opportunity. So keep studying, keep working at it. I would love to see every possible person get certified simply because that means you are a better developer. You have become more enlightened and you are able to put out better code. So take care. Hope you all have a good day.